Welcome to the Beacon in Courage, powered by Beacon Life Church. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram. This is Beacon in Courage, your weekly dose of courage. Be all that God called and created you to be. This is the Beacon in Courage, the Beacon Empowerment. Simply be. Very, very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What a great joy to be coming your way. This is the Beacon in Courage. I'm yours truly, Dr. MD Desire. We are powered by Beacon Life Church in Nairobi, Kenya, and we are so delighted to be coming your way this morning. We are shooting from Boston, Massachusetts, and what a joy I have to be coming your way. If you're meeting us for the first time, do touch the notification bell, uh, the subscription button on our YouTube channel, and uh, receive our content in real time when it comes your way. I am so overjoyed and elated to be receiving a dear, dear man of God. He's a friend of mine for many, many, many years. I can't tell you how long, but I can tell you my first time to hear the gospel preached, I was in primary school. As a matter of fact, I was in primary four. The man that ever first preached to me the gospel, even though I didn't get born again then until a number of years later, but the first person to ever make the presentation of the gospel to me was this gentleman. Daniel Washington Musoke, my very good friend from Boston Miracle Center. What a great joy to have you, sir. It's a blessing to have you again, my long-time friend. <laughs> great joy. You're a family and a brother to me. Great Good to joy. meet again great in Boston. Great joy, indeed. Yes, wonderful, sir. wonderful. Uh, we are delighted to have you here, and I'm going to start right at the beginning. I'm going to ask you to talk to us a little bit about yourself. Well, 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 it's good to to see you guys who are on air in Nairobi. Yes. And those of you watching all over the world. Yes. I'm Pastor Daniel Segane Washington. Yes. And uh, it's a blessing to be here with my good friend. Yes. I pastor a church called Boston Miracle Center. Yes, sir. Here in Boston, Massachusetts. Yes. I'm a married man. Mm. I have a number of children. Yes. God has been a good God to me. Wonderful. And besides ministry, I'm also a businessman and entrepreneur. Yes. Born and raised in Uganda. And yes. right now, I call Boston, Massachusetts as my home. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm glad you talk about Boston Miracle Center quickly. Let's begin there. Let's talk a little bit about the ministry yes, and sir. your ministry journey and uh, what God is doing at Boston Miracle Center right now. Yeah. My ministry journey has been long. I yes. came to know Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. As a young boy, I was, I got to, like he said, in primary four. Mm. That's when I came to know Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Yes. And not until after, when I turned 20, mm -hmm. I joined serious ministry under Bishop Robert Kayanja. Yes. And then all the way until now, over 20 years plus, I've been in ministry. Yes. And uh, I've pastored and we have also established churches in Europe. Yes. Uh, Bishop Desire has already, as he has met some of my spiritual sons and yes. uh, recently he has just hosted one in Nairobi. Yes. Uh, Jeff from I even Sweden, did Malmo. minister at your church in, in Copenhagen. Yes. yes. Yeah, and a few years ago, a few years ago, he traveled all the way from yeah. Nairobi, came with did conferences. I believe you yes, came twice. like two times That's true. That's in true. Europe and yes. you uh, ministered in one of the churches we had established in Europe. Yes. So it looks like a half of my life has been in business and ministry. Yes. And here I am. Uh, mm. I don't plan to retreat. I'm yes. going all the way yes. until Jesus comes. Mm. And uh, by God's grace, uh, I'll see you in Nairobi. In Jesus' name. name. You are welcome. You are welcome Amen. to Nairobi. Amen. I'm glad you bring in the great, great name of the legendary Pastor Robert Kaya, the bishop. And uh, I want to use that to ask the question of mentorship because a lot of young yeah. people starting out in the ministry today, they want to go fly off by themselves in some yeah. island somewhere. Right. But what is the power of mentorship? And for you to be connected with a man like Robert Kanye for many, many years and his impact in your life. Talk to us a little bit. It is really great to be mentored in ministry. Yes. And uh, it's really very important that you have a father figure mm -hmm. you look up to in ministry. Yes. Uh, first of all, you cannot achieve great things when you are not accountable to anybody. Yes. You cannot just wake up and do great things when you, you're not accountable to anybody. Mm -hmm. You need somebody to look up to, somebody you can learn from, mm -hmm. somebody who has walked the way, who has been in the path. Yes. Uh, you want to go on mm. uh, you also need somebody you can be accountable to that's true you cannot uh, achieve greatness when you're like you you are not answerable to anybody mm. you need somebody who can pick up a call and say what you did was not right yes 
uh, this is the right way to do it. Mm. So it's really, 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 really important for the young ministers to have a mentor, yeah. somebody you look up to as mm. a father, mm. somebody who can speak in your life, yes, sir. somebody who can really challenge you to go on the next level. Mm. You cannot be all in all. And uh, the other advantage when you have a mentor, a mentor has already gone ahead of you. That's true. He has done what you're doing maybe thousands of times. Mm. And uh, it can save you from some of the mistakes you are going to do along yes. the way. Mm -hmm. And also the journey of life, however perfect you may be in life, mm -hmm. somehow you are going to find challenges. But if you have a mentor, you have somebody you can look up to and say, yeah. times when things are tough and say, hey, father, mm -hmm. things are really tough. What yes. can I do here? Yes. Because he has been there before, something maybe that would have taken you five years to solve. Oh, mm -hmm. You know, because you have somebody you talk to as a mentor, he says, no. Do this, do this before you know mm. you'll be out of the, the problem. Yes. Or you will mm. have a solution that can that would have taken you a long time to yes. to, to achieve. Absolutely right. Yeah. Absolutely right. And I do subscribe to that. Young mm. ministers must be fathered. You're right. Because fathering brings a covering and right. like you said, it brings accountability. You're right. And of course it brings guidance because right. like you said, you are jumping ropes that someone else has already done. You right. know, there's a proverb I like uh from from Africa that what an elder sees when he's mm. seated on a stool. Right. A young man may not be able to see it when he's on top of the mountain <laughs> because the, the elders have already gone through, they have the experience that right. will help their next generation. Right, right. Let me ask you a question on uh, entrepreneurship, especially right. the fact that you are being an entrepreneur away from the country where you were born and raised, right, right. and you're being an entrepreneur in combination as a minister because some people think when you do ministry, that's all you can do, you can do other things. There, there's a there's a generation that felt like business is evil, no, like politics yeah, is for evil yeah, people, right, and right, once right. you're there, you must be corrupt and all of that. Right. Talk to us about business as a Christian, business as a man of God, and the combination of business and ministry. I think uh, ministry is a calling from God. Yes. And then uh, everybody, every human being, we are born with certain gifts within us. Yes. Uh, my family, they were they were not born again they were not christians yes i've been the first member of our family to be born again yes but uh, my family background is all business my father was a businessman mm. uh, my grandmom on the side of my dad was a businessman mm. my mom also happened to be a business so mm. right from childhood i was exposed to business and mm. even handling big money right mm. when i was a kid i remember as a kid i used to pass by your dad's shop and yeah you need yeah. something you need to borrow something that's where you go yeah so <laughs> business is in the blood but yes. ministry is a calling yes. so i believe everybody in life their gifts god has given us and uh, if you are in ministry, there is a supporting gift God has given you yes. that can support you in the area of ministry. Yes. So let us not be too religious to say that uh, doing business when you're a minister, mm -hmm. uh, it's of the devil. No, these are the things that are embedded in us, yes, God sir. has given us. Mm -hmm. Like somebody can be a preacher of the gospel, but God has given you a supporting gift of music. Mm -hmm. So with your music, you can touch more people before you, you know, before you preach, you've already touched people. That's true. So... Uh, that's how my journey has been. I do mm. ministry, I do business, I'm mm. an entrepreneur. One of the areas I'm sure mm. God has given me the grace. I can spot opportunities yes. when nobody's seeing them. Mm. I can come in a place and everybody seems to see nothing, but mm. then I am seeing mm. money flowing. Yes. So with that on ministry, mm. uh, you know, you can achieve a lot. Mm. And uh, even God has called us to have influence in different sectors of life. Mm. If we have, we have we have born again in politics who are mm. in parliament. Mm. We, they are going to influence the laws that are governing our country, mm. our countries. We shall not have laws that are supporting abortion, yes. uh, laws that are supporting men, marrying men, you know, mm. uh, laws that are godly. So in every sector of life, be it sports, mm. we need to see young men and women who are full of the Holy Spirit yes, that sir. are going to lift up the banner of Christ in the areas where they are gifted. Mm. So a question may be, oh, how do you... How how do you do it business it's all about balancing yes. knowing what to do at mm. the right time uh, this is time for business this is time mm. for ministry mm. and make sure you are effective in uh, in every area yes. and also i can give an example all mm. men like men who have done great things like yes. uh, i can give the gentleman who was uh uh who owned this yes that man was an entrepreneur he's a mm. businessman he wasn't minister to do 
all that he did to handle such projects is uh, millions of dollars. Uh, you need wisdom, you need connections, you need contracts for different things. So you cannot do such things like, uh, you know, run a, a network like TBN, run a network like Desta, when you're just uh, full of the Holy Ghost. Are you talking about Lamb? Lam, John, yeah, John Lamb. Lam, yeah. Mm. He was, uh, he, he, he was uh, in many circles, was described as a an entrepreneur yes. and a businessman as yes. long as much as he had a side of ministry mm. to do what he was able to put up to touch yes. the different nations of the world mm. uh, to handle such big finances transactions yes, mm. you must be a gifted entrepreneur and yes. a businessman yes. so plus the anointing of the holy spirit mm. you explode for the kingdom for the kingdom amen explode and flow for the kingdom and amen. that's what we are doing it's kingdom business it's the father's business amen. and i'm so glad to be talking to pastor daniel washington here for most parents let me ask you yes. i know that you've been involved in event management and doing events right great ministers i know you've been involved with don Bowen and Israel Houghton and such names. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about what that looks like and how it can impact a generation. Yeah, uh, you know, like like I say, like we, we talked about the area of the business. Yes. So uh, if Christians, if believers, we, we, we continue to do the work of ministry mm. just in a traditional way yes. of doing ministry, we are not mm. going to impact our generation. Yes. First of all, the world we are in is moving so fast. Yes. Every now and then they are inventing new things, mm. technology-wise even, they are inventing new ways of doing things. Yeah. So if the church will stay behind, do the same thing, the mm. old ways, mm. we are not going to impact mm. the world. So mm. this vision came to me when I was still in Europe yes. uh, of doing events like concerts. Mm. Uh, I saw some unchristian people were doing these events. Some mm. of them, they were, and I'm like, no. These people are non-believers. Mm. They are exploiting yes. the gifts God has given mm. the Christians. Yes. And they are doing such events and they are all for them, they, they are all out for money. Mm. But mm. they are not, they don't have anything which yeah. is godly, mm. uh, a platform that is maybe going to help like local churches grow up mm. or churches come together. And that's like, no. Mm. I took time and I studied how they were doing it in a yes. professional way, yes. not just you know, in waking up and say, "Hey, yes. don't mind is here, mm. just do it." Uh, you know, anyhow. Mm. So I took time. I studied how they do contracts, how mm. they, you know, do something. The business that, side of it. Yeah, the business mm. side of it. So like yes. even, you know, so I took time and I studied how everything works, and mm. we stepped out mm. back in it. Maybe 15 years ago, we did Alvin Soda. By then, Alvin he was Soda, still yes. touring. Mm. We did Don Mowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his soil holding. Mm. Uh, Planet Shakers, mm. and then uh, recently we did Sinach in Boston. Yes. But the beauty about this thing, mm. it brings churches together. Yes, sir. Because we are, as Christians and believers, we are divided mm. along so many borders. Yes. And belong to this denomination. Mm. This is my church. Yes. When this church has a conference, you don't go there. But yes. at the end of the day, with music, mm. it brings us together. Everybody Even the unbelievers yes. come. Mm. I've seen in these events, I've seen people giving their lives to Christ. Yes, sir. I've seen backsliders Return to the Lord. coming back to the Lord. Yes. Yes. And it gives us a platform that even the cities where you are holding mm. such events, mm. that if you have, you are holding something, like say, in Boston, mm. uh, in the Western world, if you are holding an event that is a thousand plus people, yes. obviously the police will be involved, yes. the mayor will know. Yes. So at the end of the day, we, we are having influence mm. in the communities where we live. Yes, so that's sir. the point I started with. We cannot do ministry mm. the same way it was done 50 years. Yes, true. So the, the world is running very fast. Mm. If we don't do the right thing to innovate the way mm. we do things as Christians, as believers, mm. we might come to a point that we become irrelevant, mm. which is not the will of God. Yes. God is expecting us that hey, mm. like <laughs> we are impacting our yes. generation, our time. That's why I never lived in 1950. Yes. God allowed me to be here yes. in 2024 yes. so that I can really be able to impact my generation. Yes, sir. I hope. God forbid <laughs> that you are irrelevant. I pray that you will be fruitful and so abundantly so uh, by the grace of God. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking to Pastor, Pastor here, Daniel Washington from the amazing city of Boston, Massachusetts in the United States. I do believe 
that what he's sharing is blessing your heart as it is blessing mine. He's a man rich with experience and great things he's been doing uh, for the Lord around the nations of the world, in Europe, in America, and back down in Africa. And we are so blessed to be right here in your yes. space. Yes, sir. I want to ask you one of my favorite questions, and this is the question on uh, testimony. Amen. Just something the Lord has done in your life over the years that has left you with a mark. I call it the the David and the bear, the lion and bear question, because when David stood before Saul, he said, he quoted the lion and he quoted the bear, and he said, if the Lord did it for me, then he will do it again. Amen. Share with us a little bit of what God has done in your life. So when I look at my life journey, yes. uh, uh, I've had a, a humble beginning, and when yes. I got saved, the Lord gave me the burden to go to the nations. Yes. I began to declare I'll go to the nations, I'll preach in the nations, yes. but I had nothing, no connection, no money, yes. no nothing, but I yes. just declared that, I, that, I, that, I, that I'll go to the nations, I'll yes, go sir. and yes. preach the gospel, I'll be yes. the nations. Yes. So with that faith, you know, <laughs> childlike faith, yes. because as I speak right now, when uh, some of my old friends, we went to school, in mm. college, mm. Uh, those who are saved, they, they sometimes they say, hey, Daniel, remember, you used to tell us you'll be going to the nations, yes. to preach in the nations. Now you are in the nations, preaching Look in the what nations. the Lord has done. So to me, that is an amazing testimony. He yes. knows my family. Uh, he knows the humble background we are coming from. Like, yes. I cannot say we come from a, I come from a rich family. Mm. All I can say, our family was like what you call a middle class. Yes. You know, we had the best. We could afford food. We can mm. go to yes. school. Mm. We have a house, but nobody has ever done what I'm doing. Mm. So to be where I am today and doing what I'm doing yes, sir. and being in a nation where I was not born but God has established me to be here mm. to call the United States my home. Yes. That is a life testimony. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Mm. So I started confessing things that seemed to be eh, weird mm. and wild that time. Mm. But God honored my little faith then. Yes. And uh, here we are. Yes. We have preached the gospel in the nations, over yes. 40 nations of the world, mm. and we are still going. Bless God. Uh, the, every year we have a calendar where we are going, uh, where we are going to take the gospel. Yeah. So to me, that is a testimony mm. of the power of God, of Hallelujah. the glory of God. Yes, sir. So uh, to you who is in Nairobi, who is listening to this, mm. Mm. don't underestimate your faith. Yes. Trust your God, yes. believe your God, yes. confess mm. what you want to do. For yes. the Lord, what God has put in your heart, do not fear what people are saying about mm. you. Do not, uh, you know, do not be discouraged. Yes. Actually, it will make a lot of sense mm. when you speak out of nothing. Yes. And at the appointed time God yes. has chosen, when people see it yes. coming to pass, yes. they will honor and glorify your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's how faith operates. Amen. We call the thing that's be not as though they are. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Let me. I know that you're a man of prayer. And over Amen. the years, I've known you since we were youth, always Amen. passionate, going for overnights. We've prayed together in many, 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 many uh, kind Amen. of events before. And I have no doubt as I ask you the question on prayer, because I've seen yeah. you live it, I've seen you pray, I've seen you demonstrate, and I've seen God answer your prayer. Yes, Talk sir. to us a little bit as a Christian about the need for prayer in this hour. Yeah, uh, as Christians, yeah, we, we cannot go far mm. without prayer yes hallelujah mm. as much as you have faith yes uh, the word of god in you yes then prayer has to be the catalyst that can really cause the supernatural yes sir. happen mm. in your life mm. recently we've been doing a series in our church mm -hmm. about uh kingdom prayer yes so a lot of people pray but they don't see results mm. because the motive behind prayer uh most of the prayers we do is is like it is self-centered on yes. your needs, yes. on your goals, yes. more blessing, more this. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you graduate and come to a level uh, and you begin to pray kingdom prayers, yes. you begin pray prayers asking for nations. Yes. You begin praying prayer for others, uh, you mm -hmm. know, touch prayers for your city. Yes. Prayers that are beyond me, 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 more, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, uh, with, that, with that point, uh, today the body of Christ, people are known going deep in prayer because yes. when it comes to prayer they just the first thing in their mind yeah. it is me yes what do i want Selfish. to the lord yeah you know mm. the you know I, i'm not against prosperity mm. i believe the lord can bless you yes. the lord can give you a good home yes. i love driving a good car yes. you know i've driven them <laughs> you know i love sleeping in a good home yes. you know yes. right now i believe god i'm trusting god you know if yes. god gives me a home with yes. a swimming pool it's yes. good but but i believe in the eyes of god is more than the things he can that give us that is He's true. concerned about 
the kingdom. Mm. That's why when you go in the Lord's prayer, say, Thy will be Thy done. Kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be so done. you are praying yes. the will of God mm. to come in yes. the earth. If you are yes. in Nairobi, yes. you are praying for the will of God to come in Nairobi. If I'm in Boston, I'm mm. praying for the will of God to yes. come in Boston. Yes, you know, the will of God to be done in my ministry, in mm. my church. Mm. You know, Go, you know, God is looking for people who are going to cry out and say, Hey, Lord, yes. send me here. Yes. I am. Yes. Not people who are like, Every time you come in the presence of God, I yes. need more blessing, more house, <laughs> my children, <laughs> my, my yes. money. Every time it's all about you. We need to graduate and come to that level where by it's mm. about yes. the kingdom. Yes. Whether God blesses me or mm. not, it's about His kingdom. And we all know without prayer, we can achieve less because the mm. spiritual realm controls. The super, the, the spiritual realm. realm controls the natural realm. Yes, sir. So if you have a dream, <coughs> whatever you want to do, make sure you engage God in the realm of the spirit. Get your answers, get mm. your victory. Yes. And then in the natural realm, things will be money yes. fasting. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's why the Bible says we don't fight against flesh, flesh and blood, blood. Yes, but sir. we are fighting against principalities and powers. Yes. So anything you want to achieve, yes. the, the power that is going to cause you to live from where you are to another level, it's, yes. it begins in prayer. Yes. You know, engage God in prayer. Engage heaven in prayer. Yes. I was telling members of our church, I was talking with this, yes. that, uh, that, uh, that uh, I believe the system of heaven yes. is computerized. Yes. So whatever we see in the natural realm, uh -huh. the, the natural realm coped from the spiritual realm. Yes. Uh, you know, they are they, they, they are computers already yes, in heaven yes. that are controlling that are controlling things. Yes. So when there are people who be going prayer and then when begin they begin to pray and the, uh -huh. the angels in heaven on those computers they hear every time you come to pray say my Lord bless me, yes. my children, yes. my car. Yes. So they like whenever you they, in heaven your prayers come up, they, they shut up the computer, they say, Ah, <laughs> this man is is praying trash all the uh, time uh, and then there are people who begin to pray uh, and heaven's like on the standstill all the yes. computers are alert yes. they say oh this is a man a desire yes. he's about his kingdom he's praying for the city of the yes. uh, he's praying for for souls to come to yes. christ yes. he's asking for direction lord where do you want me to go yes. you know that like he, when he begins to pray that the whole heaven is on the standstill they say yes. like, oh Here's the man, here's the man, here's the man, you know? And those are the people who come out with the anointing out of yes. their prayers, yes. you know? Like the Bible says in Revelation, that those prayers that are going out, yes. like, you know, yes. incense in yes. the presence of God. Yes. So prayer has to be kingdom prayer. Mm. Not all prayer is answered. Yes. That's why some people are frustrated because yes. the way they go in the presence of God, the motives, the intentions, mm. You are not right with the word of God. That's so right. I want to encourage you, mm. no matter where you are at mm. any stage of life, no mm. matter what battle you are fighting, mm. please stay in the presence of God. Yes. Even where we are in the we are here, we are in United States. Not everybody is succeeding. Not yes. everybody is winning. Yes. But we who know how to unlock the supernatural, yes, sir. yes nobody mm. can stop us. Mm. I want to encourage you, no matter where you are in Nairobi. Mm. In Uganda, wherever you are watching from, whether yes. you are in Canada, mm. uh, you know, West Africa, yes. engage God in prayer. Yes, You will see what God yes. can do. Yes, I finish sir. with this scripture. Mm. In, uh, in Job 9, 5, it's one of our key scriptures when it comes yes. to prayer as a church, when yes. we congregate. Mm. It says that God moves mountains. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. He moves mountains mm -hmm. without mountains knowing that he is moving them. Yes. Whatever is standing your way, yes. through prayer, God can deal mm. with it. Yes, sir. And you will come out victorious. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Good, good, good word right there. He's already Amen. preaching. He's already preaching. And that's the subject of prayer. I like to say concerning prayer that when you pray, coincidences yeah. happen. When you don't, they don't. Because Amen. power is a force of faith in the spirit that moves and causes things to happen by the supernatural hand of Almighty God. I'm going to take the moment and ask you to encourage your people. I know you're already preaching and in preaching mode, but there are people on the other side of the camera, broken, tired, exhausted, uh, feeling desperate and exasperated because of the what life, the weight that life puts mm. on us. Jesus says, come to me, all of you that labor under heavy laden, I will give you rest. I want you to take a moment and just speak life and hope as you encourage our people this morning. Yeah, I want to encourage you, my brother, my sister, whether yes. you're a minister at uh, any level of life, whatever you're going through, yes. uh, with God, 
it's never late. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Mm. It is never late. There are things I prayed for and I wanted God to give them to me when I was in my 20s. Yes. And I've seen some of them at 40. Mm. And I've seen others at 45. Yes. And, but I wanted them way back when yes. I was 20. I was like, Lord, I need it. I need it. I need it. I'm desperate, you know. Yes. You have sleepless night. Let me tell you, if you have your trust in God. Yes. At the appointed time, mm. God will do it. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Mm. God will do it. God and do at it. the appointed time, yes. it will be good. Yes. It will be, you know, I got a revelation about this scripture where the mm. Bible says that God renews your youth as an ego. As the ego. It's my personal revelation. I yes. don't know about who is listening to me. Yes. But this is a revelation I got out of that scripture. Mm. For example, there are things that you've been like, maybe you, you feel like, oh, I'm now 30. I, mm. I wanted to have done this by 25, by 20. Mm. Oh, now I'm 40. Now it looks like late. Let me tell you, when your life is in the hands of God, you are mm. not late. Yes. You will never be late. Never late. You will be right on time. Yes, sir. You will get it. Yes. And let me tell you, there's a beauty you are going to enjoy. Mm. If you've been waiting on God and you seem like you've waited so long, mm. uh, maybe you wanted to give up, quit, yes. uh, compromise, uh, mm. complain, yes. uh, do all kinds of things, or turn away from God. Yes. Let me tell you, if you hold on and wait on God, mm. that thing shall come your way. Preach, preach, it shall preach. come to pass. Yes, sir. God will orchestrate events in the four corners of the earth. Yes. And it shall come your way and it, it shall, shall happen. Come but pass. this is the beauty about it. Yes. Even if you are 40 and you've been waiting since 20, mm. when you get it, mm. to me this is the revelation I got in this scripture. Yes. You get that energy. Yes. You feel like you are 20 again. Yes. You be like, ah, uh, now I've got the energy to go. Yes. Sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and you will enjoy life. Let me tell you, you get you you will alive into your blessing. Yes. Into that thing you've been waiting for. And then that energy will be renewed in you. Well, as others who seem to have gone ahead of you will be will be quitting and they are getting yes. weak. Yes. They'll be seeing you flying. Mm. Mm. and doing great and mighty things yes. for God. Mm. Amen. Do not give up on God. Yes. It's never late. Yes. Hand in there. Yes, sir. You'll be, one day we shall meet in Nairobi. Mm. Whenever <laughs> you tell me, young man of God, you yes. said something. Yes. And I waited. I've been there. Yes. There are things I thought I will never get it. Yes. I thought that it's late. Yes. Or, or like I've given up. Mm. But then at the appointed time, mm. God does it. Yes. And I feel again, I'm like 25. Yes. I have the energy. I have mm. the vigor. Yes, sir. I, I can go now and preach anywhere because God, has, you know, whatever you are waiting for God, yes, just wait sir. for the timing of God. Mm. He will amaze you mm. in Jesus' name. Wait for the timing of God. Amen. Habakkuk said, write the vision and make it plain and run with it. Make it plain so that whoever sees it will be able to run with it. He says the vision shall come to pass and it will not delay. It's for an appointed time. Even though it tarries, wait for it because it shall come to pass. And that's what Pastor Daniel is saying here. A very, very strong word of encouragement to keep on and to stay believing because God is working in your life to do great and mighty things. Thank you so much, Pastor Washington. It's been great talking to you. And uh, I hope that has been a blessing sharing his life with you. I'm going to ask you to take a moment and pray and bless our people in the name of Jesus. And before I pray for the people, yes. I want to say people in Beacon Ministry. Yes. We are coming to Nairobi. Wonderful. 2025. You are welcome. You are in our calendar. You are welcome to uh, the man. Uh, uh, the man of God has ever hosted <laughs> me in Nairobi. That's yes. many years, over many 10 years. years ago, probably. So I've not yes. been to Nairobi. I'm looking forward. I'm praying for Nairobi. I'm You're praying. And, and this is a door to Nairobi. So I'm coming to Nairobi. I can't, I can't wait to see Lucy again yes. and uh, <laughs> the beautiful children. Yes. And you know, wonderful. Uh, you know, Itugali, yes. Samachi. Uh, you know, <laughs> have fun. You know, those yes. those. Kids and restaurants you know i'm oh, coming to nairobi we are praying and we are trusting Bless god that yeah. we do something great in the city of nairobi Wonderful. in the year 2025 yes hallelujah and you're welcome as a man of god has asked me yes. to pray mm. let's pray father in jesus name thanks yes, you lord. for my brother yeah. you brought us together you brought us together way back when we were small boys yes lord. it's over 30 years plus mm. we have been a family we have mm. been friends and here we are. We yes, thank you Lord. for the great things you have done. Mm. Who knew mm. young boys who went in that small primary school? Yes. We will be privileged mm. by the grace of God, by the mercy of God, Hallelujah. to step in the nations, not yes. just in nations, yes. but in the greatest nations of the earth. Mm. Preach the gospel. Mm. 
of mm. Jesus Christ mm. bring souls in yes and bring lives to the group to Christ Jesus Hallelujah. father even those that are, are listening today mm. especially those who feel trapped yes especially those who feel like oh God has forgotten me I don't know if it will come to pass yes. Father, I pray that you give them the grace the to see Jesus. them through that situation in the and usher Jesus. them into mm. a new season mm. Lord those who need healing let them be healed in Hallelujah. the name of Jesus Hallelujah. those who are bound with habits let those habits be broken the by the anointing and the power of the mm. Holy Ghost, mm. the Hallelujah. power that rose Jesus from the dead, Hallelujah. let it walk through them. The Father, even somebody watching this mm. meeting today, mm. let mm. there be a way. Hallelujah. Let there be a way. Those who thought they were forgotten, Father, mm. let there be a sign that Hallelujah. you are God who remembers them. Yes. Cause them mm. to step into their destiny. Mm. We pray all this believing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. And we say amen. And we say amen. Amen. I'm going to ask uh, uh, Pastor Daniel here to give us what would be your cutting shot, the one thing you want our people to remember. One thing I want to people to remember. Yes. It's never late. Yes. Hallelujah. It's never late. It's never late. Yes, sir. At the appointed time. Yes. You you'll be amazed. Wonderful. God you may be struggling, but at the appointed time, yes. it will look like you have never struggled. Hallelujah. It will look like you've never been rejected. Hallelujah. It will look like you've never been refused. Yes. It will look like you've never been denied. Wonderful. At the, at the appointed, appointed time. time. It's never late. It's never late. Hallelujah. I know you're prophesying to someone right now yes. with those words. Ladies and gentlemen, it's never late. And hold on to the word of God because in the fullness of time, he will show up. Remember, you are a beacon shining Jesus' light. Do exactly that wherever you are and i remind you again that we live by faith and not by sight Amen. we love you and we celebrate you until we see you this time next week stay blessed and highly favored god bless you abundantly thank you Amen. Bye -bye.